subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Certified Information Security Manager. So let's get started. Question number 1, what does ISRM stand for? Your answer is, ISRM stands for Information Security and Risk Management Strategy that provides a roadmap for information and information infrastructure protection with goals and objectives to an organization, ensuring capabilities provided are aligned with the goals of the business and the organization's risk profile. Question number two, what are the phases of an ISRM strategy? Your answer is, the five phases of ISRM strategy are 1. Business awareness. 2. Strategy definition. 3. Strategy development. 4. Metrics and benchmark. 5. Implementation and operation. Question number 3. What is the role of organizational interactions? Your answer is, well, organizational interactions make sure that proper communication is there between the ISRM group and supporting business functions. However, Organizational interactions are different from training, communication, and awareness capabilities in that they are opposite in nature instead of a projection from the ISRM group. Question number 4, define consequence management. Your answer is, consequence management is basically the enforcement element for the problems of non-compliance, or non-alignment. Moreover, it can range from a simple risk waiver removing liability for actions from the ISRM group all the way to corrective actions against employees who do not align to ISRM directives. Question number 5, what are the sections of an executive management report? Your answer is, an executive management report contains the following three sections. 1. Elaboration of strategy and a security program. 2. Operational efficiency of a security organization. 3. Cost of the security deliveries. Question number 6, what is the security balance scorecard? Your answer is, the security balance scorecard is a popular method used for monitoring performance and the progress towards the goals fixed to endorse the strategy of the enterprise. Also, this tool is well known to management and enables security teams to communicate the findings on a formal basis. Question number 7, name the two features that describe a risk culture. Your answer is, two features used to describe a risk culture are as follows. 1. Risk appetite. 2. Reaction towards negative outcomes. Question number 8, define accounting. Your answer is, the process of recording financial transactions pertaining to a business is called accounting. Moreover, the accounting process is inclusive of summarizing, analyzing, and reporting these transactions to regulators, oversight agencies, and tax collection entities. Question number 9, explain financial auditing. Your answer is, well, financial auditing is the process of examining the financial records of an organization so as to determine if they are correct and in accordance with any applicable rules, regulations, and laws. Question number 10. What does risk management refer to? Your answer is, in project management, risk management is the process of identifying, evaluating, and preventing risks to a project that have the power to alter the desired outcomes. Moreover, project managers are typically responsible for overseeing the risk management process during the duration of a given project. Question number 11, what do you mean by risk audit? Your answer is, Risk audit is basically the examination of the effectiveness of risk responses while dealing with the identified risk and their root causes along with the effectiveness of the risk management process. Hence, conducting a risk audit is a significant component of developing an event management plan. Question number 12, define risk report. Your answer is, a risk report is the summary of project risks as well as opportunities, the recent status of treatment actions, and an indication of the ongoing trends in the incidence of risks. The risk register and the supporting risk treatment action plan are the basis for generating project risk status reports. Question number 13. What does regular risk monitoring do? Your answer is. Well, regular risk monitoring helps provide the management and the board with assurance that established controls are functioning well. 
The comprehensive MIS reports are essential tools for justifying that the IT operations are performing, within the parameters that are established. Question number 14. What is an internal audit? Your answer is. An internal audit is usually done in-house, laying emphasis on the process assessments, the safety of assets, control assessments, and legal compliance. It has been designed in a way that enhances an organization's operations and also adds value to the company. The business leader begins the exercise, which is performed further by an audit team. However, the scope of the audit is determined by directors with equivalence authorization or the audit committee. Question number 15. What do you mean by risk analysis? Your answer is. Risk analysis is the examination of how project outcomes and objectives may change because of the impact of a risk event. Once these risks are found, they are analyzed to identify the qualitative and quantitative consequences of the risk on the project so that relevant steps can be followed to mitigate them. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.